Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Digi Guru National Teaching Video Contest. So I am Mr. Basha. I am working for Jamal Mohammed College under Bharat Dasan University. Today, I am going to teach you the concepts related with looping statement. So now I will tell you what is a loop is. A loop is a set of instructions executed continuously until the condition is satisfied. So the programming statements will be executed only when the given condition is satisfied. This is the definition of loop. Now, I will tell you what are the two categories of looping statements. One is entry control loop. The other one is exit control loop. Alright, now let me give you how the entry control loop will work. In the entry control loop, the condition will be evaluated at the beginning. Only when the condition is evaluated, the body of the loop will be executed. Where in this exit control loop, the body, of the, the body of the loop will be evaluated at least once, after that it will check over the condition. So in programming languages, we have three different types of loops. One is for loop, the other one is while loop, the third one is do while loop. Here this for loop and while loop, it belongs to the category called entry control loop. For and while. And do while is exit control loop. So let me teach you one by one. So now I will teach the concepts of entry control loop. In that as I told you earlier, we have two loops. One is for, the other one is while. So now I will teach you for loop. So all the looping statements will have the general syntax. So the general syntax for this for is for initialization. Condition increment or decrement. Then this is the body of the loop. Now I'll tell you how this for loop works. Initially we need to assign some value for the variable. Here we need to have the condition. Only when the condition is satisfied, the body of the loop will be executed first. Once the body of the loop is executed, this variable will be incremented or decremented. Again, the condition will be evaluated, body of the loop will be executed, then increment and decrement. So until the condition is satisfied, the above loop will be executed. If I want to print the values starting from 1 till 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I should write my for loop as for, I need to assign values to the variable. 
So I am using the variable as i. The starting value is 1, so i is equal to 1. The ending value is 5, so I need to write the condition as i less than or equal to 5. Here the value is incrementing 1 by 1. So I need to use the increment operator as i plus plus. I am printing the value of i, printf, i is an integer value, so my control format is percentage d, comma i. So this is the logic for printing the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I want to print the number from number like this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, I must look at what is my starting value is. So my starting value is 2, so I must write here as 2. My ending value is 10, so I can replace this 5 with 10. Here the 2 is incrementing twice, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I need to change this as i is equal to i plus 2. Now the value 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 will be printed. So this is the concept of formula. Now I will teach you the concepts of y. So y loop is an entry control loop. The syntax would be y condition. So before the condition, I can give the initialization value. This is the body of the loop. Here I can increment or decrement. So this is the syntax for using the while loop. So if I want to print the number from 1 to 5, this would be my while loop. i is equal to 1 while the condition, the next part is condition, i less than or equal to 5. Then I need to print the value of i, print percentage d comma i then i need to increment the value of i one by one so i plus plus so this is the logic of the values to print it from one to five one by one so if we want to print the values from two four six eight ten as i told you earlier in my for loop I need to assign the value of i is equal to 2, then i less than or equal to 10. Here, instead of i plus plus, I need to use i is equal to i plus 2. i is equal to i plus 2. So, this is the concept of while loop. Now, I will move over to the second category, exit control loop. exit control loop that is do while do while loop so do while loop is a exit control loop so this is the syntax do this is body of the loop vol and here i need to use the while while condition at the end of this statement i must put the semicolon in the do while state. Here the value will be initialized, initialization. So whether even when the condition is false, at least one time the body of the loop will be executed. So this is the concept of while loop. So the body of the loop will be executed at least once. So at the end the condition will be executed, evaluated. So this is the concept of do while. So example, in order to print 
the numbers from 1 to 5 i is equal to 1 do printf percentage d comma i i plus plus here i need to use while the condition would be i less than or equal to 5 at the end i must not forget to put the semicolon so this is the logic for printing the numbers from 1 to 5 using do while loop. So if I want to print the numbers from 2 to 10, simple, i is equal to 2. Then I used to use, I must use i is equal to i plus 2. So while i less than or equal to 10. So this is the logic for do while loop. This is the logic for printing the numbers from 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. I hope you understand. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.